So there was a moment in our time after our third kid was born and life was going, you know, the house was a mess. And there was already a decision between my husband and I that we were going to gut the whole house down and create our dream home. So we did that and the whole experience was crazy. We basically moved all three kids under five at the time and living with my mom in her semi-detached. Now I had two kids still in daycare and one starting elementary school. What we thought was going to be six months with renovation, well, reality is renovation is a lot longer than the six months it ended up being a full year. So when we were living with my mom, we had packed everything up and we d we lived minimally. Really, the bare necessities were needed and it was really tough with uh, a kid still in diapers and bottle feeding and in a crib. So there was a lot of transition for them, but they enjoyed it because they got to share a room together. We went through some hardships between my husband and I, not in our relationship, just some hard decisions because we wanted to be a big family. We had this dream of having a fourth child and unfortunately it didn't happen for us. It didn't come to fruition. So we made the, the tough decision of saying, you know what, we're happy where we are with the three kids. We're getting older and they're getting older too and they're going to need more of our attention. So we pretty much uh, cut the decision on the fourth child and seriously minimized and downsized. I had to say goodbye to all the baby clothes that I was keeping, the play pens, the strollers, the travel system, uh, everything. So it was very heartbreaking, bittersweet and really really hard. I can't say I did not shed any tears. I did several in several occasions. It was very tough for me but it had to be done and that was a decision. We stuck with it and we are very happy uh, with what we have right now. So a few months after that uh, in the winter time my mother decides that she is going to downsize and move into a condo. Fantastic. So we certainly didn't want to hinder her chances of selling her house and getting that hot ticket item that was uh, happening because there were new condos developing. So we decided to pack up our three children in live with our in-laws, which wasn't so bad because the house is right by the school. So my driving time uh, reduced quite a bit. So living with my in-laws was a blessing. I'm not gonna lie, it was scary at first because it was a new dynamic. It was a new um, living situation for my children and different elements uh, that we're not used to, such as living with pets or uh, living with my in-laws, period, you know? My children had so much uh, fun seeing and enjoying and spending time with their grandparents, and I learned so much from my mother-in-law. She's awesome, and she's such a, an ace organizer. So yes, she is one of my influences. I will not deny that. Uh, she's awesome, and I told her so many times. From that point, we also had to minimize quite a bit because she also lived a certain way. And I wanted to respect that. We wanted to respect that and also have our children respect the fact that we are also living with more people. With my mom, it was just her. And now we're living with more people in the house with animals. So we have to change our ways, change our routines uh, and be a little bit just aware of our b belongings, our surroundings and how our voices are. But you know, again, they are children. We can't contain them. And I'm pretty proud of what my husband and I uh, were able to do. Now at the same time we had moved back into our in-laws, my mother had to downsize. So we're talking about a house that was 30 plus to 40 year old house and belongings, I should say 40 years of belongings that we had to downsize big time and go through all of my late father's things. So that was very difficult. She also had a timeline that she needed to get out because her house sold quickly. So that was quite an experience for all of us. I'm not talking about my children or anything like that, but for myself, my sister, uh, my brother, there was a lot of things that we had to go through that was dug up from the past and fit pretty much a, a semi-detached house. Four bedroom, three bath, two kitchens, down to a one bedroom condominium. And finally, a year later, we had our house ready. It was finally time to move back into our beautifully renovated modern home. And that was life-changing altogether. Not like the whole story wasn't, but this one really was. Because now we started off with a clean slate. 
we had a new kitchen, we had new drawers, and now we had to decide how are we putting everything back in. And it was impossible to fit everything back in because our life was so different a year ago, and so were our children. And also, it was an opportunity for us to reevaluate how exactly do we live, what is our lifestyle like, and putting everything back into these new drawers and new ca cabinets. So it might not seem like such a big deal, but if you ever found yourself with an empty canvas and now it's like you decide what the rest of your life is going to be, it's a little bit daunting, it's a little scary, and it's intimidating. But you really have to get down deep and honest with yourself of how it is that you guys function and how it is that you are comfortable with functioning, how you can also transfer this information onto the next generation. So a lot of pressure on us as moms. My husband was working full time, so. I had to put this house together and it didn't come with instructions. So if you had a similar situation where you had to downsize your parents' home or had to renovate with small children or even move out to renovate your home with small children, let us know what your experience was like. You never know, you might teach someone a trick or two. Have a great day and I'll see you next week.